All right, so we're here at the Long Depot once again. So today, Kevin, where's Kevin? Kevin? No, I'm trying to get him in the background. There he is, Kevin. Is going to be changing his headlights. So the uh, the bulb behind the projector is going to be changed. It's a H7, right? Just came back from DDM tuning. We got the light kit, which comes with the LED bulb and the ballast. On YouTube for these fifth gen legacies, the only video method that is shown on how to change these bulbs is by going through the liner back here because the uh, the access to the bulb here um, is really not accessible without either going through the liner or removing this entire housing. So when I did my light, I didn't want to go through the liner and I figured it's not that long of a job to remove the bumper and I was right. It only takes about <laughs> five minutes to take the bumper off and it saves you a lot of hassle. Um, and especially because we're going to be adding the ballast for the LED, um, I don't really think that it's practical to go through through the wheel well liners. So we're going to take off this bumper on both and then we're going to take off both um, housings for the headlights and then we'll just replace the bulb with the headlight um, not attached to the car. Alright, you ready Kev? Yep. Like really to do this job all you need are a screwdriver. Oh, here you go. So no, so the pop clips that we have to remove are these, this, 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 and then there's like, I want to say eight of them that run underneath. And then the bumper literally just falls right off. I've done this in the vlog a few times already now. So yeah, if you guys want to see the method of... Oh my god! Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I'll link below the video that shows you how to do this going through the wheel well, and you'll see how much of a pain it is to do that way. Um, and the guys, the guys who were doing it, like, tore up their hands, and I have stuck my hand back there just to see how accessible it is. It's very difficult. You can't see what you're working on. So, I just, again, don't think it's worth going through the wheel well. Um, and I like this method a lot better. How you doing, Kev? Fucking struggling on like a couple of these. They're just pop clips, man. Look, well, look, those two. God damn it. You can leave them in. They don't have to come all the way out. Just leave them. Well, this, that one's already out. This one is still. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention Kevin is super low. So we'll see. That's my fault. So there's a pop clip there. You probably can't even see it on the camera. But you just take all those pop clips off. I think there's one in the middle here somewhere. Just undo them, and then the bumper will come right off. So we'll wait for Kevin to finish. I would have been done already if it was me doing it, but... So I don't know why Kevin's having such a hard time with this. There. Done. Done. So the trick, the trick to this... So you literally just stick the screwdriver in there, and instead of going up and down, I like to twist side to side. And that makes it come up, and... Sometimes there is a little bit of shit in there, like dirt and sand. So you can try a different side and then try to wiggle it out and, and they come out. Especially if there's the OEM ones. I've, I've found that the Amazon ones are kind of sticky and shitty. We probably should have gotten the, the jack and jacked this up a little bit, but... If you and your Uncle Jack were going horse riding, right? And he had difficulty getting off the horse. <laughs> Would you help your Uncle Jack off? All right, so Kevin says that we took all the ones on the bottom out. Um, I didn't check his side, so if he really did take them all out, then this should come right off. Yeah, I did. I, I asked you, you're like, only these ones. Sometimes they're stubborn, but they eventually, if you try to get it at every angle, it'll eventually come out. And if it doesn't, get pliers and rip it out. See? See, it literally falls right off. Why does Snoop Dogg carry an umbrella? For drizzle. Uh, Fuck you too, then. There you go. <laughs> yeah, that's a famous. That's a famous old joke. I learned that joke actually when, when Need for Speed Underground 2 came out, because the Snoop Dogg Riders on the Storm was the theme song to that game. There's this screw. 
There's a screw here. I think there's. I think that pop clip may or may not have to be removed. And I think this screw. I think. I think this plastic here is a part of the headlight assembly. I don't remember. And I feel like there is one more. Oh yeah. I think this one. So this and this have to be removed, and then the headlight should come right out. So all right. So Kevin found another one back here. All right, Kevin found a baby pop clip back here that has to come out. That I might have broke right now. Yeah. There's another baby pop clip there. Well, there's one more we forgot under there. And then you just gotta disconnect the wiring. Okay, just press on this and wiggle. I, I, I need someone to kill. This is not happening. I mean, it'll give you a hand. Yeah. 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 Lay the light down like that. Don't don't lay it down on the lens. I thought that was pretty obvious, but apparently common sense is not always very common. And then it's I believe it's this one. What will be? Yeah. Twist off? Yeah, you twist it. I think the other This way? I don't know. To the left. It also says here, yeah. There's instructions open and lock, so there you go. Ooh. How does it smell like farts? Oh, usually what I do is I disconnect the connector first. What is this? Just like a I think you just pull it. Or unless that's what you mean. Alright. So on mine, this was kind of stuck. It is coming out. So you just, there you go. You just undo the spring clip. So you just push that down and back. There you go. That's it. That's as far as oh, back. Okay. Yep. And then you just pull the, the bulb out. There you go. All right. So Kevin here bought the DDM um, LED light kit. Uh, these are the H7 uh, kit to fit the uh, projector for these legacies. Um, so when I did this, I cheaped out. I went. I bought the Amazon kit. One of the ones that was like highly rated. Um, it's okay. Like it works. Um, I'm having trouble with one side. Sometimes it doesn't turn on. I have to like tap the light to turn it on. But this DDM has come very highly recommended by people in the in the group in the chat. Very excited to see the quality of this first, the cheapo Amazon uh, one that I bought. But I think the one that I bought was like half the price of what what Kevin paid. I think this was like eighty dollars out the door. I think I paid about forty for mine. When you're working with lights and putting new lights in, you want to have clean hands. So actually, you probably want to go wash your hands, Kev. Or All right, here we go. DDM LED Saber actually. unboxing. Let's see. Did you crack that rum yet? Well, you got the zip ties because what JDM car doesn't have these? We got the manual. That was really good. And then we got these two. Oh my God, your list number two. Bright boys. I remember that was that was good, man. Yeah, which is the left one? Or which is the right one? The left from your point of view or the left from someone else's point of view looking at your car? I don't know. I'm only fucking with you, dude. There's no left and right. <laughs> right. Just twist this off. Take that off. Yep. Just put it into here. And it's key, so you gotta make sure it's in the uh, hole. You're holding this. You hold that for me. What you're gonna do is you're gonna close this down. Lock it in place. Yep. We get this right here. Just tur turn it till it goes in somewhere. Yeah, so the fan and the heat sink back there, so that OEM cap um, won't be able to go back on. And then we plug that into the original plug, wherever that is. Right. And that's it. So what do we do this kind of just hangs around, like, you can either tape it, velcro it, or attach it anywhere. Uh, I forgot what I did with mine. You can tuck it in there. I think that's what I did with mine. I just tucked it in the... That's it, guys. Yeah, we'll do the other side, and then that'll be that. We put the, the headlight back in and just put one bolt, and we plugged it back together just to make sure that the light works to test it before we really bolt in the whole light so that we don't have to disconnect everything if it didn't work. Headlights are back in, and they work, and they look good. What do you think, Kev? Yeah, that's definitely an upgrade. Let's stick the bumper back on. Hopefully Kevin can handle that.
All right, that's it. Bumpers in. Headlights work. So that's it. Like and subscribe if you want to see more uh, Subaru Legacy 5th Gen videos, how-tos. I'm sure we'll have plenty more problems. And we also got some WRX homies, so we'll do install and uh, repair videos on those. Alright, till next time guys, like and subscribe.